But hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Digimon Survive. A quick recap of what happened last time, because a lot happened last time, was we finally invaded the steelworks of the enemy, and completely, hilariously, despite the enemy being like apparently this big organization enough to be like a threat and get people to, or Digimon, Kimonogami, to come to them, they didn't really have that many guards at all. So it wasn't really the enemy's base so much as the enemy's closet that they decided to hide in within a big building. But yeah, we searched it, and Garurumon bodied Renamon apparently. But then we bodied Garurumon, and he decided to back off for a little bit and point us in the right direction. We went, and we ran into Piedmon, or is it Piedmon? Eh, pronunciation be weird. But still hilarious that they're like, ha, we're gonna dress Piedmon up in a big coat to reveal him to the players for some reason. Yeah, and we fought him and all his buddies. He was utterly terrifying. But then Garurumon came in, renewed his bond with the Professor, who is confirmed to be Haru by now. Then again, it wasn't really that much of a hidden thing, but still. And he became where Garurumon, we beat down Piedmon, but then Miyuki was still activated upon the altar. We jumped in, me, Takuma, Agumon jumped in to try and save her. But then we ended up in the Hell Realm, but then Miyuki saved us and retrieved the other half of her soul that was taken the last time she was grabbed by the Master Monster. And then we went back to Earth. That was the biggest thing that utterly just sent my emotions, because it's just like the moment I saw the lilies, I'm just like, there's only two possibilities. And neither one is all really that good. And uh, yeah, we sp apparently spent a few hours in the human world. Miyuki had a crisis of life because she was from 50 years ago. Knew what TVs are, but not computers. Understandable, I suppose. And then we went and beat up Piedmon. It got YouTubed. We shoved Piedmon into a bibbidi bob portal. And apparently there's a decision to be made there where you decide whether or not to go back into the digital world. I'm just going to assume that the other option is like, because there were like three options where it's like, I must save my friends, I must save the world, or I was like, screw this, I think for myself and I leave. And I'm just going to assume that the world dies if you do that. And yeah, we jumped back into the digital world after a phone call with Takuma's mother. And now we definitely have to return home back once we save the world. Because we have curry for dinner tomorrow. Even though it's been 10 days since we left the digital world. And I need to remember to not save over save slot 1. Do not save over slave slot 1. So, what should we do? We're not going to wait around for Howie to finish cooking? Sure, but we should talk to him before that. Again, the... There's just somebody here that's just like, defaults all pronouns to he, him. Who do that on translation team? Oh, it actually talked about it. But you can you really blame me? There's been a good stretch where a lot of the time, the translation slash localization slash just English tippy-typey replaced pronouns to he, him. Usually just he, but that's what I thought. But no, it's actually real this time. Because... Also not my fault because the subject changed. We were talking about Aoi, and then, oh, but we need to go talk to him. And then that changed the subject. That's a pet peeve of mine in writing. But Agumon, thank you for pointing it out. Him? Once again, my Agumon voice is never consistent. Him? You mean the professor? Oh, you figured that out fast. Honestly surprised because... <laughs> Take your subjects and make them good. The whole time you were talking to Aoi, he stared at you all twitchy and stuff. So you noticed that too? Well, I didn't notice because he was a still image. Aoi, 
Yeah, just like when Labramon's looking for attention, but now he's too busy. Uh, I'm not sure that's the same thing. Well, either way, I have a couple things to ask the professor about, too. We should find a place to talk to him. Fro Aksha! All right, we can talk to... Once again. But we only have five moves. And, like, I kind of want to talk to the Digimon. Let's see. Because we actually have one, two, three, four, five. Problem. Is that some of them might be, like, individual. But before we do that, let's check and see who needs... Affinity the most. Obviously the dead people. But Minoru. Owie. But it does seem like uh, we should have enough moves to do everything before uh, it'll default. But at the same time, we can't trust the game. We can't trust the game because sometimes the game is like, <laughs> Fuck you. Sometimes the game just does that. And swaps people's things around and makes it impossible. All right, Minoru, those two, those two, and if we can use our free action with the Digimon, sure. There's Minoru. How's about we have a chat? It has been five billion years, Minoru. How are you alive? I was gonna say, if that was a shadow, that'd be kind of funny. Oh, we can't talk to Falco, man. He's such a good man. Minoru, I sense a strange presence coming from the direction of the shrine. You mean like a bad guy vibe? It's too soon to say. Still, best be on our guard. You too, Takuma. Sure. Good looking out, Falco, man. No telling that what's out there. We should take a look just in case. Is that just gonna... Falcomon senses something over by the shrine. Doesn't seem hostile, but... Could be Garurumon, or Renamon, or Piedmon. Could be anything. I'm just going to assume they're like, mm, but we sent something over there. Is it a movement? But at the same time, something, sometimes things happen, so we're obviously going to save... But I like to go over to the other sections anyway, because sometimes there are items and memories. So this might be a memory one. Or it could be a shadow. Is a shadow. Well, we could do with the battle practice. Maybe it's a Gatomon. We can recruit a Gatomon. And then obviously have to ditch evolve the Gatomon. Because stats. Oh, hey, Leomons. Obviously going to bring in the main characters for leveling because I don't think we'll have to rely on free Digimon that much. So yeah, there are two Leomon. But let's see. Ice Leomon and Leomon. They're both champions. But they've got some of the Ice Leomon in particular. That is some nice stats. Huh. And then a Renamon. Neutral? No, it's just the icon of the Diddly D. So we're obviously going to send you over there to get the Bibbidi Bob, but let's talk to the Renamon because I would find that hilarious. If your friend was off causing trouble, how would you deal with it? I'd protect my friend. I see. It seems we're like kindred spirits. Sometimes you should act on emotion instead of logic, don't you think? Be true to yourself. What would you do if someone told you an idea you believed was incorrect? Thank that person. Very nearly missed that. Join me! Yay. Huzzah. Hilarious in many ways as well. 
here I thought that if we ever got a Rinnamon on the team, it would be because Rinnamon decided to join the team. But no. Instead, randomness. Because we should probably bolster our forces ever so slightly. Let's talk to the Ice Leobon. He's got good stats. Would you rather fight a weak enemy or a strong enemy? Does it matter? <laughs> human voice, okay. Can I trust humans? Get to know us first. <laughs> you saw a raging fire heading towards a crying child. What would you do? Save the kid, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Be my friend! Coward. And then I guess we'll just annihilate the normal Leomon. It'll give Chromon time to get to the box. How dare you hurt my friend. And you didn't even do that much damage, you fool. Your doom comes. But I wonder what the split path is for these other Digimon. Because all of them have been specifically, like, linear. So it makes me wonder what to be. It makes me worry. Will things happen? I do not know. And, of course, we go all the way. What is beyond perfect for Digimon? It's been a long, long time since I properly consumed it. But it's... note how all of our guys are like, oh, yeah, they can go up to the one above the third level. They can go to fourth level. But then there's one extra for my boy. Well, that's not good. I guess. That's just we're gonna get to the box, Kremen. Get to the box. We'll probably have to annihilate it. Perfect enlightenment slap. High level, nice. Yes. High level DPD. All right, time for annihilation. Goodbye. I definitely need to do more of the level level for stats, just to be on the safe side. And I've got mature, perfect, superpower pineapple and Renamon. Hilarious. That was all that was here, but let's go ahead and see. What do we have in our... We have Ernest Banana. So who needs greater speed? Who is a slow bumpkin? It seems that you are slow bumpkin. No more slow. And just for giggles, what can you digivolve into? Obviously we're going to go down the evolution path. Adorable animation. Then we can go Taumon if we wanted to go Ultimate. Hmm. Which probably should just because we pair plus we have a lot of enlightenment slabs anyway. And it just lets me see. Anubismon. So let's see, we have two base and one vaccine. Apparently you are very much a super duper attacker. You're a flyer. But I would probably still go Sakuyamon because I'm a sucker for evolution lines. Let's see. 
clobber carrot. Who needs more special attack? Seems to be you. And probably still you. Then Amul Acorn, who needs special defense the most? Since we have two, I'll split it between you two, since you two are in danger a lot. Crunchy Clobber Carrot, who needs special attack the most? Considering he does have a laser beam. He does have a laser beam. He has a laser beam. And then Superpower Pineapple. Who needs to punch people more? Uh, you're a, di a distance fighter. You also kind of are a distance fighter. I'll give the Superpower Pineapples to you. Because you're the one more likely to, like, go in and smiggity-smack some fools. Well, I'm gonna save before I go to the shrine, because people are like, Hey, there's something at the shrine, unless it's, like, an event. But it's letting me go to the shrine, so it's probably gonna be a thing. So let's go look. Now then, what to do? Scan, apparently. Hmm, what's this? Giant mushroom. What? What? I saw it. Do you think that's what you, you guys sensed, Ogamon? Hmm, maybe I think? Uh, could you be any more vague? That fuzzy feeling's already gone, though. Ah, I got you. Still, we picked up a few things we can use. I'd call that a victory, right? So, yep, once again, another evolution diddly dee. In fact, speaking of, perhaps we should, like, actually digivolve some of our Digimon. If we wanted an extra Chromon, we could. But let's get some variety in here, since we have so many evolutions tablets. Sure, doesn't help them in the level department. But it will help them... Ever so slightly. I just feel like it's better to... Since after last time, let's actually have a selection. And... That was definitely an increase. And we have, once again, lots of perfection slabs. So no reason to be skimpy with them. Such a light voice for such a demonic being. All right. Hmm. What abominations lie beyond the Windigo, Mon? Nightmare, nightmare, marine devimon. Again, we have lots of perfection slabs. Let's go ahead and use some. I won't use all of them. <laughs> Why is he the mask of red death with a golden mask? And go ahead and give me a blue Maramon for variety. Eh, another Phoenix Mon. Jewel B Mon. Weird. I guess that will be it for now. Purely to. Just like we have options for Digivolution. And we've digivolved some. See, they move. They move! But again, should probably level up Minoru. Those two. Those two. It's Minoru. Should I ask him about a bit about what went down while I was gone? 
What is it, Takuma? Everyone's acting all tense. What happened while I was gone? Um, well, let's say it's been a lot. Sounds like it's something he doesn't really want to talk about. Well, the important thing is you're back. We have hope again. All thanks to you. I just flashed back to DC Comics. Heroes in Crisis. Don't you see, Barry? It's the return of hope. What do you think, Takuma? Has Minru toughened up a bit? Ah, come on, Falcomon. I speak the truth. No need to be bashful. Hold up, you're talking like a parent fawning over their baby boy. If it hurts, your feelings are relent. It was simply my honest opinion. Why, I oughta... He's definitely gotten stronger. He can act so cheerful about putting up a front. It feels more like something he's always had inside him has risen to the surface. From what I can tell, Falcomon's done some growing on his own, too. Once again, it would be nice to... Like, no, see the first sentence to see what you mean by that. Like, I know, we could, like, maybe look at the backlog. Let's see. He's definitely going to strong. He can act so cheerful about putting up a front. So that's probably, like, the shaped up. It feels more like something he's always had inside of him has risen to the surface. He hasn't changed. Or whatever, it's like the, he's the same guy. From what I can tell, Falcomont's done some growing of his own, too. I'm going to say he's the same guy. As well, hasn't Minoru always been this way? Oh, how do you figure? You always seem to mouth off, but you were just saying what's on your mind. It's like the good stuff that was always inside you has come to the surface now. Uh, that is a compliment, right? Of course. High praise indeed. Huzzah! For real? <laughs> You're making me blush here. Even I could discern that much, Takuma. I've become a bit of an expert on our boy here. Ah, oh, come on. It's like a competition to embarrass me. <laughs> Such an odd couple, those guys. These two look like they've got getting along just fine. Please don't move, please don't move. Because... Now I definitely want to check them out. But I think the ones in most danger are these two. Because I think they were fighting. Kaidos of Mew again. I should ask them what happened since I last saw them. Yeah, because I should try and prioritize. Like, sorting out people's issues. I think these two have issues. Don't be a shadow. It's a sincerity melon. We have to stuff it down their faces. So they can be nice and sincere with me. Takuma. Man, to think you'd come back now spouting that stuff. All of that about Miyuki being the key? You gotta be kidding. Sorry, Takuma. Rose seems kind of irritated for some reason. Okay. Kaido. I figured I'd see how he's doing, but he's in a worse mood than I'd anticipated. You're just talking nonsense since you can't bear to let her go, right? You really think I'm capable of that? Listen and listen good. Miyuki's finished. Kaput. We gotta take down the boss and fast. Miyuki finished? What are you saying? Exactly what I mean. Just look at her. Even you've gotta throw the towel, right? Are you serious, Kaido? So if I was in her position, you'd do the same to me? No way, I'd never do that to you. I wouldn't let you get th in that way in the first place. I'll always protect you, you hear me? Always! You get it, don't you? You're weak. That's why I can't leave you on your own. And those things out there would eat weaklings like you for breakfast. Even back then, you wouldn't would have been fine if you just stayed by my side. Back then? What's he talking about? I get the feeling I shouldn't ask. Still, I can tell he's getting too worked up. Maybe I should step in? Probably calm him down, because if he's been like this for a while, and he's definitely out of line. You've got to chill out, Kaido. Well, that was a choice, oh boy. Back off, I'm talking to Miyu here. I don't know what's going on, but you don't have to be so patronizing. Cram it! Don't go talking about shit you don't know jack about. What? Thanks for trying, Takuma. I'm sorry, but I can't take it anymore. I'm not something you own, Kaido. I can't stand the idea of being protected by you forever. Don't you see? I'm getting stronger enough to stand on my own two feet. Mew? You're not... I'm not the weak one here. You are, bro. You're the one depending on me. Harsh. 
Jesus. He slapped me, you. I couldn't stop him in time. See, just like I said. Jesus. My dude, you're going crazy, man. You only know how to solve things with violence. You just want an excuse to vent your anger, and you use me to do it. I'm not the one stuck on what happened back then. You are. You. All I want to do is protect you. Protect what's important to me. Oh boy, oh jeez. What are you going to do, Takuma? I don't think there's anything I can do. Kaido, Mew, I don't know what happened with those two, so I don't know what to say. Oh boy, please don't say that's like a heedly he you needed to. Well, I guess I could check out the abandoned old school just to see if there's anything there. Probably should have saved. Don't see him anywhere. Oh, hey, Takuma, something wrong? But yeah, just to finish my thought, because I thought this would just be, oh, I'll go here, scan, maybe get some equipment, or not equipment, but like uh, stat ups, maybe a memory fragment thingy. But back there, it kind of felt like it was a, I was supposed to get like maybe more info on their past and the past in, uh, interactions we've had with them to maybe have a better understanding to step in, but I do not know. Mm. Labramon, I'm looking for the professor. Have you seen him? The professor? Mm, let's see, I think I saw him. He was heading toward the shrine, so I guess he's over there by the altar. The altar, huh? Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> don't mention it. Howie's doing her best to pull everyone together so I can do my part. Howie sounds like she's had a hard time. Yeah, you know how con conscientious she can be. She's taken so much on herself. But now that you're back, I can tell how relieved she is. That right. It's just like you say. I've got to do my part, too. For Aoi and everyone. Yeah, that's the spirit. So that's just a point in the right direction. That didn't eat up any of my time. Good, good. Let's quickly check the forest area. Again. He said... No one's here. Okay, that's basically a confirmation. So we shall head back. And everyone's in the same place, so probably nothing's changed there, but we'll go talk to them, see if we can get an affinity up or anything. Head there. But at the same time, maybe you have an idea what's going on with them. Hmm. I want to be very thrifty with my moves. I guess let's talk to Siakuman, see if we can get any information. Hey, Siakuman, you here by yourself? Yeah, just taking a moment. Hey, I was wondering, why'd you come back to Kuma? Huh? What do you mean? I couldn't ignore all this. Like I said before, I couldn't just sit by and act like nothing's happening. You don't say. But he does say. Was that a weird thing to say? No, I just thought that's just like you. I'm sure Mew will be glad to feel that way. Well, that's good to hear. What was that about? And the thing is, like, talk... I kind of wish that the movement thing didn't exist and it was basically just go and do your best with the talking to characters because it would be neat to, like, have those little interactions with the Digimon, but it feels like it almost doesn't do anything. And it's just flavor text that wastes, wastes your moves, and I hate it. It hurts. I was Osaki. I should ask him about what happened in the past ten days. <laughs> Utterly insane that it's been ten days. Hey, Aoi, could you tell me more about what happened before? Did something happen to Miyuki? And speaking of which, where's Haru? Uh, do you remember how Haru fainted during the fight against Garuruman? Yeah, we left him in a corner of the factory for safekeeping. Right, so after things finished up, we grabbed Haru and made it back here somehow. But then when we woke up, Haru was incredibly upset by Miyuki's absence. I can see that. Of course, he'd be worried if his sister disappeared. By the next morning, Haru had disappeared, too. He did? We think he went to look for Miyuki. His wounds hadn't even mended. Oh no, do you have any idea where he might have gone? 
I'm afraid not. We looked everywhere for him, but... So Haru's gone, too? Yes, we're all quite worried. I hate to think of such a small child going off on his own. Well, yeah, but there's nothing we can go, uh, go do, blah, blah, blah. we can do by ourselves here. To be honest, we've had our hands full just taking care of ourselves. Saki, that's... Well, I guess there's no point in splitting hairs. Like Saki says, it's taking everything just to stay alive. But Aoi kept us all together this whole time. You saved me a bunch, too. No, that's not... Come on, no need to be modest. Aoi here is amazing. What do you mean? You see how the pressure of the situation puts everyone on edge, right? That's why everyone was always at each other's throats, but Aoi... Aoi kept us all together with her magic touch. Magic touch? What's that? Mm-hmm. What do you think I mean? I wonder, maybe she means like a healing touch, treating everyone's wounds? Or wait, did you wake it, awaken some sort of magical power? No. I can hardly imagine, but you never know. Hmm. I would say that she healed everyone. How he's a wizard would be a funny response, but I think she healed everyone? Did you treat everyone's wounds? That explains why everyone trusts her so much. Well, I guess you have a point there, right? Oh, so, how do I put it? Devoted? Motherly? What, the Takuma? You think of me that way? Well, yeah, that part of you has always been a big help to the rest of us. Really? Me, motherly. <laughs> I met him a little flustered. Oh, <laughs> for sure. That's our Mama Owie over there. Just having her <laughs> around gives everyone some peace of mind. You too, Saki? Jeez. Still, that's not the magic touch I was talking about. Wait, really? Cooking! I'm talking about her cooking! She kept our bellies full with her food and our hearts at peace with her words. Ah, so that's what you meant. Glad to hear how good her food is. Nothing soothes the soul like a good meal. How he sure knows how to weigh around a stove! It's not like I whipped up anything special. I just made do with what we had. She's been so caring, too. Did I tell you? I had planned to go to the hospital after camping. Don't say that, Saki! It's fine, it's fine. The hospital? Is something wrong? Nothing major, but when we came to this world, all my plans for hospitals or surgery went up in smoke. And yet, because of this, I feel like I can do anything I want to, without holding back. Do you have any idea what that feels like, Takuma? I told all this to Aoi, and she's really sympathized with me ever since. Saki. To Saki, you had to worry about hospitalization and surgery. This treacherous world is a place where she can move freely. She's been here supporting Aoi. I can see how they've grown so close. Ah, but the music was getting good. So we touched base with basically everyone. I'm gonna double check them. Now that seemed to be a, the same. No reason to double tap. It will just be kind of a repeat of the final thing. Then I guess, spend time with Agumon. See if there's anything that comes from that. No one's here, should I go somewhere else? Hey, what are you? A shadow? A melon? It's a pineapple, but we're not even by the beach. This world makes no sense. Sin counter go Dean. Hey, Takuma. What is it, Agumon? Do you regret coming back here? No, nope, not at all. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Really? Really and truly? What's with him all of a sudden? It's not a question I can easily answer. Still, what would Agumon say? Maybe you should give him some encouragement here. I say really and truly. Of course. I came back to protect everyone of my own free will. I'm okay. If that's how you feel, then I believe you. Agumon seems a bit uneasy. Considering how things are going, I can't blame him. I have to do anything I can. Anything at all. And now I guess we head to the forest. Ah, the inner shrine. Well, we finally get to learn about Renamon. You know, that thing that I immediately understood. Hey, Takuma! The professor's over there! He's Blair Witching! Oh no! Oh, you're right. Hey, Professor! 
Ah, Takuma, Agumon. Apologies, were you searching for me, perhaps? Uh, not exactly. I didn't see you, so I just ended up looking. The murals. Did you get to look? Uh, did you get to look into them? Mm. Indeed. I've done extensive research on the first level here and the second one below. I only just found the third level. Uh, the third level the other day. There's a mural there too. Wow. Does that mean you figured something out? Mm, I wonder. I don't know if this will help the present situation, but... Would you tell me about your findings? Now then, where should I start? Let's start at the first level. Since we're here. This depicts humans and a maiden praying to the Kimonogamy. Humans and Kimonogamy coexisted? Apparently, if you believe this mural... The maiden is of particular note here. She is depicted with much more detail than the rest. Traditionally, they serve as intermediaries. She may have been one for the Kimonogamy. The maiden acting as an intermediary between Kimonogamy and humans. As for this mural, what do you see here, my boy? Uh, na Attack? Yeah. Vicious monsters on a rampage? Hmm, I'll give you half a credit. Look closer. Would you... You can see houses and humans. Uh, you're right. It's almost like they're running away from the monsters. Yes, I view it the same way. Perhaps these are monsters that ran rampant in our world. I think the monsters that appear in legends around our world are based on kimonogamy. Why are you serious? Well, the hypothesis relies on this mural as supporting evidence, but it is plausible. Want to look at anything else? Yes, look. Why would it not look? Bastard, look. To the second level. I'll need to save just in case I accidentally click. Click. Accidentally pick. Don't look. The two areas are demarcated, with humans and monsters standing on respective sides. This mural could delineate the two worlds our world and the one we're in now. Okay, so the humans and the Kimonogamy each live in their own world. It's not just about different worlds. What's that in the middle? Connecting the two. Connecting the two? Could this be a gate? Most likely. Piedmon opened this gate to lead an attack on our world, I'd say. A gate? Does that mean there were others like Miyuki who could connect the worlds? Perhaps people or a technique passed down. At any rate, the method has been lost. Look at this. Don't you think something incredibly important is depicted here? Yeah, it's humans being taken into the digital one. Hmm, so monsters are getting thrown into our world and humans thrown into their world, or once again, are the people becoming Digimon? That's one thing that I would always like, a Digimon thing where the humans became Digimon, but not like, oh, we can Digivolve into Digimon, but like, actually, fully, irreversibly, technically, until maybe the end of the series. I just think it would be interesting. Humans and monsters are getting sucked into the gate? Indeed. Some were flung between the worlds due to some unknown malfunction in the gate. Those who disappeared simply crossed over to the adjoining world. You mean like we did? Indeed. No doubt some of the disappearances occurred when the gate malfunctioned. So then what causes the gate to open in the first place? Who knows? Might be a simple accident, or someone like Miyuki controlling the gate. I cannot say at this juncture. I see. Save just in case, save just in case. Paranoia, 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 paranoia. More looking. Third level, because we haven't seen these ones yet. I've barely started my investigation into this level. I don't know much about the contents of this mural either. Analyzing the top part here, this mural seems to depict some kind of disturbance. The master. Yeah, you mean the humans and monsters, right? They're all freaking out. Yes, many of them are upset due to some incredible power. That's all I can tell from observation alone. Each of the murals seem connected. The timeline is hard to pin down and... Um, Murph to Professor. Uh, pardon me. I drift in the ocean of my own thoughts again. Come on to the next mural. Or so I would like to say, but this mural is simply replete with mysteries. 
So there's seems to be three Digimon up there, seemingly, and then lots of writing. Let's see, humans are suffering on the bottom, and on the top are Kimonogamy. Mm, these Kimonogamy share aspects of the four godlike beings in ancient legends. This composition bothers me. Traditionally, heaven would be on top, hell on bottom. Goodness, I'm truly at a loss. The most I could offer is slipshod conjecture. Especially since we can't translate the Kimonogamy language. Well, now, I believe that's as far as I can explain things for now. Thank you very much. I learned a lot. Well, I doubt much of what you learned will help increase our chances of survival. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask the professor how the apartment complex is related to Miyuki. Oh. Hey, Joseph. professor, about Miyuki. Miyuki uh, uh, would you look at the so time? We have to get back to the school building. Huh? Hey, uh, oh. professor. Hmm. I know you have questions, but the answers would be paltry. You should stick to knowledge that will assist in achieving our current goal. But what makes you say that? Having all the answers would help our survival. What was that? Oh, phone time. Oh, it's just a text. Wait, what? Text? I thought we didn't get any reception here. Ah, uh, another garbled text. Wait a second. I can read a little now. Only bits and pieces, but still. Yeah, I guess some have become Japanese characters. Hey, Tacoma. Everyone's waiting, aren't they? Uh, you're right. We'd better go. Ah! Aye, aye. The professor's intriguing words and now this garbled text. Something big might be going down here, but man, I honestly can't tell what. All of you have must have been desperate out here, huh? Remember to stay hydrated. That's one sure way to survive. Hydration. Hold out and survive in a world like this? I have to admit I'm impressed. I wonder if I could have held out this long myself. No point in worrying about it. Best focus on the task at hand. Oi, Yo, it's Kuma! Kuma. Hey, Minoru. You talked to everyone, right? How'd it go? I learned how awful these past ten days have been for everyone. The fog's been getting thicker, and the enemies won't let up on their attacks. And then there's Miyuki. Miyuki? Oh, I, I mean, is it really that hard to talk about what's going on with her? I want to ask him about it somehow, but... Probably tell him our side, because that might give them context, and I thought we went in together. Hmm. Minoru, about Miyuki. Yeah, right. I was with Miyuki back in our world. I know I talked about her being the key to creating a gate between worlds, but she was a normal girl. Shocked at how the world had changed since she'd last seen it. Mom, tell me what's going on. I want her to come back with us to our world. Okay, man. You're right, Takuma. I gotta tell you what's going on, don't I? Hey, Takuma. Don't you think the fog is getting thicker again? Yeah, you're right. Oh man, it's coming this way! Hey, what? What's the sound? It came from the cafeteria! We gotta warn Aoi and the girls that bad guys are coming! Let's roll! What happened to Miyuki? Hey guys, everyone get over here, quick! Uh, Takuma! You guys are late! Sorry! What happened? I'm afraid I can't keep the promise any longer. Promise? I told you I'd talk about Miyuki later, didn't I? But the truth is, she's over there. What? Oh. Well, that's odd. I guess she became a vessel for the monster? Hmm. Miyuki? Don't get any closer, Tacoma! Miyuki's leading the enemy! Well, that's horrifying. Oh, pitiful offerings. Life and death, creation itself, all bend to my will. Your fates are already sealed. Miyuki, what the heck are you saying? What happened to you, Miyuki? 
Yuki is channeling the master. Maybe it's better to say she's possessed. The master, you don't mean... No, wait, it's me, Takuma. Do you recognize, recognize me, Miyuki? Answer me, please. This may come as a shock, Takuma, but we've had to face this reality for a few days now. Go on, howl. Oh no, here they come. Let's hold them off. Well, that's odd. And there are four enemies to deal with. Well, a bunch of not four, but I have four ally slots to deal with the enemy. And yeah, probably go for this base. Uh huh. This one will probably be a bum rush of enemies. Let's see. There is a lot of enemies, but it seems like the only treasure chest is on our side. So that's good. Let's go ahead and smack that open so it's not a worry. Time for evolution. Wait, we should also see how much their movement is. Uh, decent movement. What about you? First class Kinzoku. Third class Kinzoku. Hmm. And once again, I doubt we can actually talk to these fools. So let's see. Can I blast him with my diddly D? I want to see. Nope, I cannot. So we might as well move to kind of defend the boy a little bit and have our enemies come to us. Utterly horrifying that the Kinzoku is manifesting more. So yeah, the worst part will probably be the fact that the enemy go ahead and defend there. Wait for an opportunity to smack him from the sides. Or behind. Hmm. Well, let's see. What's your movement? So either way, you'd be able to smack there, so... Move here. Hmm. We'll have to wait for him to get a bit closer still. I mean, I could, like smack him from the side. Because we probably should get a move on. Let's see. I didn't want to kill, so... That's the downside. kill them in one shot, I shouldn't put myself at a too much of a disadvantage. Let's 
some of them have put themselves at a disadvantage. Let's see. That wouldn't kill. Let's see. How about... Dang it, it would not be enough to kill. So, isn't worth bothering. <laughs> I could try and maneuver behind some of these guys. To try and get a side attack. Well, actually, I don't even need to get to a side to smack you. Guess I'll end there. Because I think they're defending. After that time, huzzah. And luckily there are at least these guys, the third class Kenzoku. Let's see, cuz I can do this. Only you were one more forward, my dude. This does mean that the guy in behind will get a back attack on one of us. Profound sadness. Never mind, he's going for a side attack. Probably fall back. Let the weak ones really catch up. Go ahead and annihilate you. Just so that you can't get any more hits off. Hmm, if I wanted to, I could probably try and do an atomic laser, but it wouldn't do much damage, so it's not even worth it. Okay, the jerks are doing a formative approach. Side so I can kind of yes. pester him. Let's see. Hmm. I'll go for you. Once again, I forgot to do the talk 
ability. Blast for you would almost be enough to kill and let's go for it. Survive, my boy. Ha, huh, interesting. Lol, you missed. Hilarious. Lol, you both missed. Double hilarious. I'll deal with you, since you're right over here, as much as possible. Oh, team attack. Neat. I'll just get rid of you. You have too much health. Now you must die. Lol at the critical head. He's done. Well, actually, I'll go there. Can I hit? I can. So let's just get it over with. Be gone, Satan. Ah, more cutting. Taking out the followers. All that's left is Miyuki. <laughs> Can we really hurt Miyuki? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Strange. How did they become so formidable with the addition of a single sacrifice? Yet I tire of this resistance. The one who brought this renewed hope must be crushed. If she comes, but I... What are you doing, Takuma? Your history if you keep this up! But it's Miyuki! If there's a chance to change her back, I... Fascinating, yet so typical of an offering. Slave to emotion and capable of judgment. Alright, interesting that that was in the battle engine area. Of the game. Okie doke, what did we get as a reward? Rare amulet acorn too. Fine alacrity crystal. Superpower pineapple and enlivening. Enlivening? Wind crystal too. Well, now, if my limbs cannot outmatch you, I shall crush you between my teeth. Agumon! Takuma, is it really okay to fight? Stop it! I beg you! Professor! Please, everyone! Don't attack Miyuki! How admirable. It seems age truly does bring wisdom, if only you were all so obedient. Don't do it, Miyuki! That's... What are you doing? How dare you? Let go of me! Miyuki. It's me, Miyuki. Don't you recognize me? Insolent fool! The consciousness of this vessel has long vanished. Your appeals fall on deaf ears. You've got to remember, Miyuki. We've always been together, haven't we? It's strange. The sight of you, a lowly beast, stirs something within my heart. All the more reason for me to devour you first! Well, that doesn't look good. Hmm, how frail you are. The path to oblivion unfurls before you. I won't allow it! Professor! If you want to eat someone, then start with me! I won't let you lay a hand on the child that supported Miyuki all this time! What nonsense are you? Supported? Hmm? Miyuki! Fight? 
Yuki, I hope this is a good thing. What the heck? Uh, what am I? Miyuki. Yuki, is that you? Miyuki You're back? Me. This is... Ah! Miyuki. Yuki, no, oh, she's being swallowed up again. Run, Haru, please, quickly. <gasps> this is very troublesome. Why? Why wasn't it me? <laughs> I can't! Miyuki! Miyuki! Oh to think a Miyuki would have the power to resist me still. It seems I went too far. Perhaps I should retreat for a time. Nothing is simple anymore! We're, we're safe? That... That was a close one. Is everyone all right? Sorry, but we have to prepare for the next assault. Can you stand? Here, hold on to me. But I want to help. This is all your fault. If you hadn't shown up, we would have been... My beloved Miyuki and could have stayed with her forever. Probably not. I mean, you were the one to use illusions. And not just be yourself. He took off his hat. He is truly evolved. You get it now, don't you? After that display, you come to that conclusion? Jackass, you are the new... You are the new Shuji. Her consciousness has been taken over by the Master. And they spent all this time enduring attack after attack by Miyuki. After all, they couldn't exactly kill her. She's one of us. Above all, we can't stop the master without her. We know how you feel, man. Have you seen anything we can do about it? We'd like to do something to help, but what? I'm sure everyone realizes how important Miyuki is in all of this. Maybe there's a way to bring her back. What if we call to her like the professor did? No, maybe we should let him do keep doing it. She'll come back eventually, right? That's a bit optimistic. Because again, it feels like these sections are mostly just about like, ooh, raise your morale, your harmony, your wrathfulness. The professor can seemingly call out to Miyuki. Miyuki had a strong reaction to the professor during the last battle. The professor may be who we need to return her to her senses. So okay, but I'm not sure what I should. Even if we return Miyuki to normal, we have another problem to deal with. Remember what happened at the factory? We'll attack at the slightest opportunity. We survived this time with everyone's help, but if they get serious, how long can we... There must be. We need Miyuki. Still, we need Miyuki. You mean her song? Yeah, like I said before, if we don't save this world, ours would be in danger too. Then what are we supposed to do? I mean... There must be! Let's all talk to her! Let's all talk to her together! I bet that'll bring Miyuki back to her senses. We tried that already way back when she first showed up. Yes, but... Well, that makes sense. I guess they would have tested out themselves already. But I'm here! I am the biggest friend. What is it, Mew? Well, that, that's what I said. Are you hungry? No! Gigi Mon! That old fart's a walking encyclopedia about this world! He must know something! Is the path to the amusement park still open? Can't say for sure. Our situations will not improve the way things are right now. We, we all said that we'd he head somewhere else if nothing changed. Gotta stick to the plan. Everyone seems to agree. They've really grown a lot in these days, Egg was gone. What do you think we should do, Takuma? Oh, me? We need a unanimous decision here, so please, tell me what you think. That's right, we won't make any progress just mulling over by ourselves. So let's head to the amusement park. Get a second opinion from Gigi Mon. And hope he isn't dead. It would be nice if Garurumon came back to help. We hurried to the amusement park again to, to gain some of Gigi Mon's wisdom. And yet... Everyone dead? 
That's not good. What is this? We came all this way, but nobody's home. Weird. They always come out to greet us. If that rowdy bunch ain't around, maybe something happened to him? If so, then it was something unpleasant to be sure. This is weird. I don't hear a thing. Hey, Gigimon! Can you hear us? Should we investigate the castle? Our response. At the very least, he doesn't seem to be in the hearing range. Careful, Tacoma. Something feels kind of off around here. Something's nearby. Not Gigimon or the others. Something different. Different. Hey, everyone, come here! Saki, what is it? These little guys are hurt! Oh, it's them! We have to help them. Hey, hang in there, guy! What happened to you? A human girl came out of nowhere and attacked us. With a bunch of fog monsters. A human girl? Miyuki? Gigimon and our friends who aren't hurt are holed up in the throne room. Those monsters let up for now, but they'll be back to attack again. You hold it together. Tell us, where's the enemy now? That's enough, Kaido. Yuki attacked this place, but why? Did you predict that we were going to do? What, did something happen? The way to the throne room is blocked off. This can't be happening. What are we going to do? Please calm down. The ones hiding within likely blocked the way when they fled. So it's basically a siege situation, right? So it's possible that they're all safe. Wait, what if we... No, I was going to say, what if we went in through the dungeon? But that can't work. I wonder if we can buy some more time. Mew, gather all the injured around here, then we'll meet up with Gigimon. Oh, yeah, you got it. All right. We better get looking ourselves. Hope I don't need lots of salves. Because I don't think I have many salves. But why do they have to go and hurt the Biomon, the Patamon, and the Palmons? They're all innocent children. Yet this game is just like hardcore. It's like, ha ha ha, annihilate the children. All right, let's see. What do we have? We have health. Who needs health? Hmm. Honestly, probably you. Then Sincerity Melon, who needs the most? Dippity da. Seems to be you. Superpower Pineapple, who needs more physical attack? I should focus on my mains, the ones that will actually be part of the story. Yeah, the ones that will mainly be doing it is you. Now the physical defense. Who needs physical defense the most? Definitely you. And again, you're very slow and won't be in danger too much. So I'll double down on you. Now let's go to the woods by. There's something here. I can feel it. I think it's a whore. Shadow. Shadow. The Hedgehog. Apparently the live fan dub is going to about Shadow the Hedgehog game will be coming out eventually. And let me guess, another Renamon over there. The fully leveled up Renamon is a decent unit, it seems. So once again, first let's talk to the Renamon. Then let's retreat. Damn you. But you said you didn't want to point this fight. Always transforming. I need a double, and I don't think I'm going to get a double. Hmm. I'd be embarrassed. 
Huzzah! I doubt you'll do it, but join my team! Damn you. And I will move to try and get the... Just get right behind the Leomon. And we'll try to get the Ice Leomon on our side. Let's see, Ice Leomon, what were your choices? Can I trust humans? Get to know us first. You can and should! <laughs> if I saw a raging fire, obviously the save the kid. <laughs> and then I won't forgive anyone that disturbs the peace in this area. You got it all wrong, man. <laughs> I still think that the more bars you get in that should increase your chance of recruitment, but it doesn't seem like it does that. Which kind of makes it feel kind of pointless to a degree. So there's no reason to, like, maximize your, like, diddly D against a Digimon like that. Okay, so if you have one that's just like, oh, these are the one one one, so it gets to the minimum of three, it, you have no reason to go beyond that. All you have is just like... It just seems kind of silly. It should work that you need to get a minimum of three to even be able to recruit them. And if you fall below that, and you get a one or a two, you'll merely power them up and enrage them. That makes sense. But if you get like a four, a five, or a six, each stage should increase your chances of like getting better items and better like better chances at recruitment better chances at items just better chances he just doesn't do that the army is coming for you Leomon just like the anime you will die which anime all of them because somebody thought he dilly he let's make it a joke that runs for all time, and it will never end, even as the Digimon fanbase begs them, please stop killing Leomon. We've had enough of the dead Leomon, please. Oh, there was a chest. I completely missed that. I'm a fool. It was probably going to be a move anyway, so might don't really have much reason to care. It was either going to be evolution slabs, which, eh, sadness, but not terrible. Oh. There must be some more injured around. I'll have to look high and low for him. Let's talk to the Panama. Hey, are you okay? Oh, wow, wow. Good, it's just a scratch. I've got some ointment for that. Uh, use my water then. Gotta wash it out first, right? Yes, thank you, Minoru. You saved me. Here, take this. Ah, gee, thanks! You rest here. We'll bring the other little ones back soon. But what about the ones that are over there? That are hurt? I love that it showed me the hurt ones before panning up. This is just awful. How could they do this? Hold yourself together, Owie. We've got to save the injured ones. Uh, yes, you're right. We have a job to do. I won't forgive the ones who hurt these poor babies. Owie. Getting a bit wrathful there. Yeah, Owie's pretty upset. Still giving in to her anger could affect Labramon in a bad way. I should try to calm her down, but... Let's see if I can... Yeah, I was pretty upset. Still giving her a good effect. I should try to calm her down. You should focus on the task. I totally get why you're upset, Owie. Still, we ought to focus on treating these guys. 
Of course, I get that. Unless you know what might happen if our emotions come unbalanced. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. They'll negatively influence the Kimono. How thoughtless. Yay! Thank you, Takuma. I'll focus on the task at hand. Yeah, let's do what we can. I'll leave Tree and the injured here to Aoi. Let's look around the park, see if anyone else is hurt. Yeah! I'm not done. Don't kick me out. I will punch you. Damn it! Did the Master's cronies do this, too? What the heck did they come here for? I was wondering that myself. Hmm, could this be... What is it, Falcomon? I scouted around the area, but all of the fallen are gathered in the same areas. Almost like breadcrumbs left in the enemy's wake. Are you saying the enemy is heading someplace and attacked anyone who got in their way? You're kidding. They do all this just because someone happened to cross their path? Minoru, is he sad or angry? Probably a little bit of both. Can you throw down, Minoru? You know it! I'm ready to bust some heads! Man, Minoru really has gotten stronger. I think I'll give him a pep talk. Yeah, cuz... Hmm... Man. So I guess we'll save them all. That's a pep talk. We'll save them all. Yeah, that includes Miyuki, of course. Yeah, thanks, Minoru. Come on, let's do this, Falcomon. Indeed, I'm right behind you. Do whatever your heart tells you. He really has become someone I'd rely on. I better follow suit. So, Aoi and Minoru are safe. I'd say Saki is pretty safe as well. Fucking scared for uh, Kaido, though. Uh, someone over there. <laughs> I sent something there, Tacoma. Yeah, let's check it out and be careful. There. Uh, oh, save me. Wait, what? Aren't you all friends of Lady Mew? Oh, yeah, I remember you. Holy smokes, I'm so scared. No, no, it's okay. The wound looks painful. You should come with us. Nothing left to do here. Let me check. Nope, nothing else. Yeah, because right now, I'm scared. I'm scared for Kaido. I think Mew is relatively safe. Let me check the diddly D. Yeah, because Mew is pretty up there, and she was the last to be recruited. Everyone else is really high. So, should probably go here. Talk with them. Try and save them. Where are the injured? I can't leave here until I find them. Talk to the Palamon. Hey, are you okay? Uh, Looks like she's still conscious. That's good, but she's wounded from head to toe. We don't look too deep, at least. Yo, you hear me? Can you walk? Shouldn't be a problem. Your wounds burst open if you move like that. Hold on a sec. Hmm? You're tearing your own clothes? Ah, making bandages, I see. It's nothing more than first aid at best. How's that? Better? Thanks. This is a big help. Here, take this. Ah, oh, gee, thanks! I'm gathering up all the injured. You should come with me. Okay, got it. All right, talk to Professor. Hmm. Professor, have you figured something out? It's just no enemies have come to attack us so far. I hope it keeps going that way. Okay, so what about it? Well, that means either they've already achieved their goal, or there aren't many. Their goal. I was thinking about that myself. Why do they attack this place? If the enemy is few in number, maybe we can work together to drive them off? What is their goal? What could the enemy's goal possibly be? I haven't the foggiest. There's a dearth of information on this subject. Yeah. Their ultimate goal has always been to offer children as sacrifices to suppress the fog. But in the, that case, there would be no need to lay waste to this area. So then why did they come here? Do they have a true goal we're unaware of? Uh, Professor? Uh, my apologies. I was lost in thought. Any contemplation at this stage will lead to speculation. The injured take priority. And Kaito.
God damn it. How could they do this to me with peeps like this? This is bad, real bad. How would you feel if she saw this for herself? We won't get away with this. When I find them, heads are gonna frickin' roll! Hey, Miyuki might have been the one who did this, you know. So what? Don't expect me to keep my mouth shut if she's done all this. Oh no, Kaido's losing it. I gotta do something to cool him off. Should I insist on saving Miyuki? Or maybe if I focus on the rescue effort, he'll chill? If I remember him, that mind that we came to talk to Gigi Mon, that might do the trick. Hmm. Rescue comes first. Of course you're angry, Kaido. But rescue comes, effort comes first. Any time we waste around here, maybe time those little guys don't have. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's just as you say, man. My bad, I just saw red there for a sec. The gods save them all. For Mew's sake, too. I'm glad he's calmed down, but of course it was all for Mew. Well, we ain't going anywhere, we ain't going nowhere until we save the squirts around there first. Let's go, Drachmon. We'll find those little punks if it's the last thing we do. <laughs> he sounds like you're looking for a fight, man. But I got you. Let's do this. He is just dead set on... And Miyuki is... Oh, wait, I forgot to save the little one there. I'm a fool. I am a fool and a monster. I let them to die. Huh? Is someone over here? Yikes! Uh, I seen something there, Takuma. Yeah, let's check it out, but be careful. There. Stop, let me go! Uh, I'll, uh, huh? Wait, aren't you Lady Mew's friends? Oh, yeah, I remember you. Oh, I'm safe. What a relief. We're gathering up all the injured. You should come too. Yeah, it's just kind of funny that Kaido is just so hell-bent on, like, basically killing Yuki. No mercy! Miyuki must die! There must be more injured somewhere. Let's talk to the Biomon. Save the Biomon. Oh no, she's in such a bad shape. Wait, Mew, you shouldn't move her. Uh, Lady Mew. Hold on, we're here to rescue you. Can we do anything for injuries like this? I don't think so. Lady Mew... Thank you so much for coming. Hurry, run away. What are you saying? You have to come with us. Mew, you should listen to her last words. Her last words? I'm so happy I met you, lady. Mew. Wait, I... We were too late. I don't believe it. Mew. Well, that's sobering. We couldn't save them. It's not your fault, Mew. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up over it. But, but I. Of course, she'd be down about this. Still, I can't ignore her here. Save as many as we can. Save others out there. You have every right to grieve, Mew. But we can't get tripped up here. There's still lots of creatures hurt there. They're waiting for your help. Yeah, I know. If I stop here, even more are gonna die. I can do this. Takuma, Siakaman, let's go. Roger! I want to save as many as we can, Takuma. I'm gonna kick it up a notch. Great. It's all you, Mew. Talk to Saki. This is terrible. I can't believe my eyes. Hold it together, Saki. This is no time for us to be down in the dumps. I've got a point. They don't have the luxury for sadness now. Still, don't think I'll let them get away with doing this to such sweet kids. Saki. Saki's pretty beat up about this. I don't blame her. She's right about all of them. She can't get caught up in her pain, though. The professor said it's bad for our partners. 
think might be get Florimon to help. So that they can like share in the heart of their bond. Florimon knows Saki better than anyone. Try asking her to help. Florimon, can you say something to her? Sure, I got this. I know how hard this is for you, Saki. Just seeing this is enough to make anyone sad. Oh, Florimon, you have every right to be sad and upset. But you know, we can't stop here. If we don't get things in motion, tons more of these little guys are gonna disappear. So please, can you try and get going for me? Huzzah! Florimon, you're right. We have to help all of them. Thank you so much. I'll do what I can. Thank goodness. I knew Florimon was the right one for the job. And now, to save the last little one. Uh, someone over there? Yikes! I sent something there, Tacoma. Then let's check it out. There! Stop, let me go! My meat's all stringy, you hate it! Wait, what? Aren't you all friends of Lady Mew? Oh, yeah, I remember you. Oh, thank the stars, I'm saved. You're all right now. Oh, that wound looks painful. You should come with us. Have we finished checking this area for now? Yes, sir. All the injured around here have been rounded up. The guardians are moving them outside of the park, where no enemies can be found. The ones hurt badly are being carried by the others that can move. I'm glad to hear so many of them made it out okay. Now then, time to beat some sense into those. No, we're going to go save Gigimon so we can talk to him. She's right. Information is our top priority. Of course, we'll save any injured we find. More than anything, we need to find a way to save Miyuki. So Gigimon's in the throne room, right? Yep, we found another way in, so let's go, go, go! Now we can head into the throne room. Let's go save Gigimon! The throne room is just that. What? So this way's blocked off too. Is there any other way, Mew? No, it's the only entrance to the throne room. Now what? Shit, we've got no choice but to break this damn barricade ourselves. A wall that big? You gotta be kidding. So what's your idea then? This is bad. We don't know if we can find Gigimon and enemies could attack at any time. Gigimon, you're there, aren't you? It's me, open up! Oh, a little hole opened up a... Under the wall there! What? Well now, is that Mew's voice I hear? Gigimon, you're safe, what a relief! But of course, come squeeze in through this gear crack. Okay, we'll be right there! Yay, Gigimon is alive! God, imagine what would have happened if we didn't have Mew here. Like if Mew could have died elsewhere. I'm not sure if she could have, but still. Possibilities run scary. Oh, it's you, Mew. And the rest of you have come as well. Very good, very good. Gigimon, I was so worried. <laughs> I see you're as spry as ever, Mew. What a sight for sore eyes. I'm happy you're okay, Gigimon. Just what happened here exactly? Well... The Masters Kinzoku have been on a warpath lately. So I gathered all the ones who can't fight and hold up in here. Why would the Kinzoku attack this place? Hmm, can't really say. With the non-stop attacks coming out of nowhere, everyone's been quite frightened. Yeah, that can get pretty scary after a while. Yo, Takuma, you had something more important to ask about, didn't you? Gigimon, one of our friends has been possessed by the Master. What? By the Master? Are you sure? Yeah, the Master's consciousness injured her body. He keeps her coming after us. Can't tell him Yuki's the one attacking this place, though. We want to save her. Please, Jijimon. If there's a way to help her, please tell us. I'm afraid there is little I can teach you on the matter. What? I remember many who possess such abilities. But the Master... That's a different story. Normally the body's owner could drive out the foreign consciousness. But with the master, there's nothing you can do. No way. What will happen to Miyuki? To this world? To our world? The only thing you can do from the outside is call out to their soul with all you've got. Call to them over and over. Knocking on the door to their heart. And that's just a stopgap measure. In the end, you must confront the master to get her back. Continue to call to her. For how long? 
In that time, the world will. Defeating the Master is easier said than done. Can we win against this world's ruler? Is there some other way? Some other way to... Some other way? Is there some other way? At least someone who might know another way? I'm sorry. Perhaps if I racked my brain, some clue would rise to the surface, but nothing comes to mind right now. Oh, no. I wish I could be of more help to you, all of you. <sighs> then there's no way to save Miyuki. I bet I have a real awful look on my face right now. The others seem very down. Even Kaido looks uncharacteristically bummed out. I guess he actually had his hopes up. Still, the situation really is hopeless. I can't save Miyuki, much less the world. Takuma. But he's at. <gasps> oh, what's that noise? Takuma, he's the enemy! This feeling. No doubt about it, we've got a Kenzoku situation here! Coming! Everyone away from the doors! Oh, are we going to escape through the dungeon? Yeah, thank you. Do this here. What are you doing, Mew? The enemy's coming. Wait, I almost found it. it should be around here somewhere. Yeah, yes, here it is. Come on, guys. We can escape through here. Nice. Now we can get away. Before we do, we better wipe out these ones. Otherwise, they'll nip at our heels as we run away. Yes, we have to. Try not to get separated, everyone. We can make it through if we stick together. Yeah, if we combine our power, we can get through this. Yeah, we're not alone if we work together, uh-huh. Shijimon, why'd you grab my hand like that? I know I don't have the right to say this, but please. Save our world. I know it's shown you all nothing but suffering, but this is still our home. So please, I beg you. Shijimon, no idea what we're supposed to even say. Or uh, what do, but even so. I understand. Leave this to us. Here they come! <laughs> Horrific edited screeching. It doesn't look like she's in any state to talk this out. Listen to Kuma, you'll fight her if it comes down to it, won't you? Could I do it? Could I fight Miyuki? There must be some way to save her. There's gotta be! Well, that's not right at all. But let me see. There are two chests all the way back there, so that's definitely a... your job. Probably, but we should maybe... See, oh, there are they are neutral, so it doesn't really matter who I bring in. Oh, great! There's second-class Kenzokus, and they're and they're frickin' casters from the looks of it. Let's annihilate some fools. I'll send you on a drive-by. Well, we're gonna head that way anyway. I'll head extra this way so that guy might not... Well, that's very rude, game. Hopefully they don't stun him in one go like jerks. Because that's what jerks would do. And again, it's just a, sho a shocking amount of status effects that are just like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, your turn is just skipped. So we should probably follow after Chromon.
just to be safe. But luckily, when they spawn in, I don't think they actually get opportunities to do anything. Still, rather rude to just spawn them in. Actually, you know what? I'm a little bit worried that it'll actually... like spawn even more so let's go ahead and try and get these guys out of here yeah, I think that would be yes. Ooh, this might annihilate him hell yeah Hell yeah, he's almost dead. I'll just come up here and smack you. That was a very productive round. Huzzah. Well, that's rude. Considering things. Take this. That will kill. There. All of her followers are taken care of. Now's my chance. Well, that's not nice. I want to get those treasure chests. It's me, Miyuki. Sakuma, please, you've got to listen to me. Come on, open your eyes already. We made a promise, didn't we? We'd save the world and go back home together. With everyone! At this rate, your precious brother, Haru, will be lost to us! Just now, Miyuki returned to normal for a second there. Miyuki! Ugly toad monsters. Also, that is the completely wrong model. Damn, my voice can't get through to her anymore. It's missing, but what? I just want to save her. I just want to go back home with everyone. Is the missing piece Rio? You're right. I can't give up here. I won't. I'll never give up. Lend me your strength, Agumon. We'll bring her back. We'll save that kind girl. Miyuki! We'll all go back to our world. Together! Agumon? Roar of me, Takuma! I need to hear your voice more! More! You got it, Agumon. I, it's kind of silly, but it's kind of epic. Hell yeah. Here it comes. That warmth from deep inside, Takuma's feelings are filling me! Ha! Incredible power like none I've ever felt before is swelling up from inside of me! Agamon, warp of all two! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fancy evolution graphics. Who is it? Who is it? Is it who it is? It is. It is the boy! <laughs> Hell yeah! Mega Metamorphosis! What he said. Incredible Agumon. No war, Greymon. This is our new power. Let's keep it up, Takuma. Our voices will save Miyuki. Hell yeah. Warp Digivolution. Also means that extra enemies. Also hilarious that that happened on this guy's turn, so. Biggity bugger. Let's see. That's 
not enough. Let's move after the others and defend behind. Hmm. I'll actually just stay here so that that guy will come closer and those two will double team him. Chromon will go for the packages. Well, that's not good. Okay, good. Ooh, 69. Nice. <laughs> that walk animation. Hilarious. Terra Force! It's an area of effect attack. Hell yeah. Then... Terra Force! Yep, more spawned because the game's a jerk. I just want the treasure chest. Don't do major damage. Oh yeah, back attack. How dare you punch him in the dick? Wipe you out just to defend the others. Hmm. Could do that and then move. Please don't spawn it even more. Well, they move really fast. That's not good. I feel like we're too far away. annihilate them both, so... Or not annihilate them both, but do major damage to at least one. Jerk is here. Annoying little bastard locked off his sides. Or his back. Now let's see. Not enough, but this will. Specialists scare me. Could do 
even another one, which will apparently annihilate him. In that case... Accuracy is 100% because it just goes over everything. So let's annihilate this guy. Come down here with you guys to lure that guy down here that those two can hopefully deal with. to smack the chest. Hmm. Wait for it to get closer. You know, I probably should have used an item for War Greymon, because now he'll go have to smack. Oh, that's cool. His shielding animation. Is the actual shield crest on his back. I love it. <laughs> Keep in turning. Just until that guy goes bye bye. Who knows, maybe I can get War Greymon over to the other chest. Oh, you're gonna come to smack? How dare you. I've been worried about you, so I'm just going to bugger off. Give myself a little bit of choice rims. It doesn't seem like this will kill the boy. Never mind, it might very well kill the boy. It killed the boy! Which just means that Chromon can get the other one just in time. <laughs> Give me that other item. Gale Storm. Welcome to you, my friend. Our war Greymon. <laughs> right, now he's confused. That's not good. And yeah, that works. Oh, never mind. It was a self attack. Very rude. Used up my diddly dang moves. Should probably. Guess how much health? Just a slightly restores. Hardly even this scene. How many big. Where's the big bandage? We have lots of big bandages. Now you miss. You want a jerk? I shall smack your back. And now I shall laser your face off with my giant crow laser.
That was a close one. Because he was a jerk to my boy. And we got so many things. Probably should look at my equipables more. Ah, horrific. Miyuki! Hey, Miyuki! It's no good, you can't hear me. Such an impressive aura. This is insane. He's on a rampage over here. Words won't reach her anymore, Takuma. We don't have a choice. Yeah, time to finish this. Our followers are gone. We can do this. Wait, if she's gone, we won't be able to get back home, you know. But if we let her go, who knows what will happen next time we see her. I think we should run. Can't let Miyuki die. At the very least, we should just run away for now. Are you even listening? Even if we leave her alone, she'll just come for us later. I'm sorry, Takuma, but this is the only option available to us. No, we can't! Minoru, Kaito, won't you give us more time? You too, Professor? She regained consciousness for just a moment. Surely our voices can reach her. I don't want to lose anyone else. So please, just a little more time. Alright, but just a little, okay? When things get dicey, I'm taking her out. Ah, jeez, fine, just do it already. Thank you, truly. Let's go, Takuma. Crickle crackle voice editing. Miyuki, don't you recognize me? Uh, us. These are the people that care about you. Please, you can't lose. For Haru's sake, too. We're going home together. You can do it, Miyuki. You can beat it. And we can all go home. So don't lose, Miyuki. Take that master down. Just a little more, Takuma. Miyuki's almost come back to his senses. Miyuki! Miyuki! Takuma! Miyuki! No, I can... I return to you all? Yes, Miyuki. We all can go back to our world together. But it was all in all caps. It was freaky. Takuma, I... 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 That's not good. It's a loop. The master is just really trying to leverage control. It's no good, Takuma. She's starting to go berserk. Reinforcements inbound. Damn it all! I think we won't last much longer. What should we do? What are you going to do? Yuki. No, it can't be. No! Oh dear God, Gigi Mom! Couldn't even save Gigi Mom. Gigi Mom, your chest—you've been stabbed! Stop it, Miyuki! Don't hurt anyone else! It's too dangerous, Takuma! Miyuki can't be helped anymore! We can't stay here. It'll collapse at any moment. Wait, wait. What about Gigi Mon? Damn it. Gigi Mon! No way. We can't get any closer. We have to get out of here on our own. But. Run. You must. Go. When I leave them, I leave everything to you. No, Gigi Mon, we're, we're supposed to do it together! No, Takuma! You'll die too! Go! I have to... I have to save Gigi Mon at least! Drag Takuma over here! We'll escape through the hole Mew made! I've got to! The fact that the music cuts out during loading kind of breaks the mood. Looks like everyone's okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Damn it. 
The throne room is off limits now. The hole's caved in from the looks of it. Let's go, Takuma. Yeah, but I... What happened to Jijimon is awful, but we have to keep our chins up and move on. We, we have to keep going. That's all we can do. But I couldn't save them. Is it really a time to stay here and feel sorry for ourselves, Takuma? Don't, we, don't you have something you have to do now? Yes, you're right. Jijimon. Jijimon entrusted his cause to us. We have to make it a reality. We have to save Miyuki. And you can't let that hope be for nothing, can you? So stand up and let's go. Yeah. Let's go. There's no time to get depressed. You guys had it way worse while I was gone. To think something like this would happen after you made it back to us. I have no regrets about coming back. It certainly is reassuring to have you back. We're not the same without you here. It may be cruel to say after all you've been through, but please don't go again. Not until we save Miyuki and then we all can go home. Part 10 And on that ooh, we shall end. Utter pain and misery! Well, isn't that a lovely icon? But I do believe that that shall be it for now, since we went through a lot of story and emotion. It was for two hours. I think that's a decent place to end. Just a lot happened, because I was wondering where Miyuki went. I thought we jumped through the portal together holding hands, but apparently not. Apparent? Yeah, that's the one thing that I doesn't make much sense. Miyuki told us we must hold hands and jump through together, and we did that. And then a Mi Miyuki ended up there before us, days before us, consumed by the master, going on a rampage. Renamon is still being an asshole. Because... It makes no sense. Renamon's like, I must save Miyuki! And then fails to save Miyuki and doesn't realize maybe I should help these people. And then, when... It's just extra hilarious, was like, why couldn't it be me? Well, maybe because you've been disguised as Haru this entire time. And so she doesn't recognize you all that much as Renamon. Because you only had so much time as Renamon with Miyuki before she was taken by the Kenzoku arms. And half her soul was stolen away. Still no idea how she escaped that or was saved from that. No idea. Because she was completely taken. Haru was thrown through the portal, and apparently Renamon must have saved her physical form at some point. How? Who knows? Nobody knows. And I don't think the game's gonna explain it. So yeah, and she kind of lived in that fugue state for a long time, with Renamon pretending to be Haru. And now that all that happens, she's uh, Renamon's just like... Why couldn't it be me that breaks you up? Because again, she doesn't really know you as Rinamon. She knows you as Asshole Haru. And again, the game is still kind of playing just like, Heedly he, do you think that the professor is Haru? Yeah. And I don't even get why Kaido is all like, Oh, we have to kill her. Like it would literally, like at that point, it depends. Because like, if you spent less time arguing with me, Perhaps we could have grabbed Gigi Mon and ran. And he wouldn't have had to have jumped in front of it. Also, Minoru did a flip really damn quick. In the little conversation where we got his affinity up, he was like, yeah, we'll save Miyuki and I'll go home. Get to the throne room. We have to cut off her head. Tum -tum this is, it makes no sense. Utterly emotional still. They freaking killed Gigi Mon. It did the death splishy splash.
See, that's how you knew that the professor didn't die early on. Because it didn't do the black blood splishy splash. But then again, we weren't introduced to the black blood splishy splash. So we were uninformed of the rules of this universe. But yeah, we unlocked War Greymon! Hey! Utterly magnificent. Terra Nova is awesome. But boy, howdy, does it use all of the frickin' SP. All of it! So yeah, no idea where we're gonna go from there. Kaito is still, like, very... Like... But kind of bipolar. Where he's just like, we have to kill Miyuki to save the world. But they, at the same time, he kind of... Probably deep down wants to save her too. But he feels like he has to be the voice saying... We can't do it, we have to stop her now before any more pain and suffering comes across. Because he doesn't actually, like, believe that there's a way to save her. He wants there to be one, and would be probably very happy if there was one, but he is just so, like, cynical and negative that he feels like it the only way is to kill Miyuki to stop the de 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 death. But if anything, one has to ask if Miyuki's master monster could just send all of these... Toku to Kenzoku arms. Why would they show up in person? Bibbidi bobbidi, who knows? Again, we still don't know why they attacked the amusement park. No idea. My god, this would be depressing if this was an anime. Like, full animation and pacing and everything. I almost want there to be an anime, but at the same time, this game, again, I don't know where the possibility of characters dying lies. I don't even know if I could save Gigi Mon. <laughs> again, I am hoping for a new game plus. For God's sakes, do Ryo and Shuji still show up on the person, not the personality, but like the profile thingy? There has to be a new game plus where I can go through and save everyone. I'm begging it, I'm begging it, I'm begging it. Ah! But yeah, still loving this game. The music is still awesome. The emotional curveballs are crashing. Still makes no sense that Miyuki got there before us and became the master puppet for days before we got through. Ah, uh, yes, in the seconds of us traveling through the portal, she has become... We, she went back in time. And again, kind of silly that Renamon is being a jackass about all this. You'd think that Renamon would be like... Like, throw away their pride and work with the humans to save Miyuki. But it, it's all very self-centered, like... Maybe Renamon is meant to express the other toxic side of the Kimonogami Kim bond. Where Garurumon is the toxic side of he feels like he was betrayed and abandoned, so he wants nothing to do with his human. Whereas Renamon is basically a clingy girlfriend. It can only be Renamon and Miyuki, but at the same time, Renamon kind of sucked at that. Because while they were Haru, pretending to be Haru through illusions, I assume, still, it's... <laughs> The only thing that really works and makes sense and stuff. Like, even when they were Haru, they didn't really try anything to keep Miyuki from the others. and It was mostly just kind of a, oh, fine, we'll go along with it. Still no idea what that thing at the... Huh. An idea came to me. What if the Master is trying to gain better control of Miyuki by destroying and attacking places that hold emotional purpose to Miyuki? Because, remember, when we first went to the amusement park in Part 3, I think? Part 3 or Part 4? When we went to the amusement park, Part 4, it was Part 4. Rio died in part three. But when we went to the amusement park, we saw a, like, I don't know, a memory flash of Haru and Miyuki 
when they were, like, they were much more lively. They were, like, happily running around the amusement park and be like, yeah, that one, that one, let's try that one. So it honestly feels like, like, I still have no idea what that was, because it immediately cut to... Haru being, like, hard-faced, Miyuki being still her half-souled self, and Agumon was just like, they've just been standing there. What were you seeing? No idea what that was. Maybe because Takuma is special, because we're getting, like, the visions of other people's stories being lodged into our head. Which I have no idea where all those pieces are that I've been missing, but oh well. So maybe Takuma is just attuned to this world in a weird way and can see memories. Mm -hmm. So that's my thought. Because that had to have meant something. That the amusement park was a happy memory for Miyuki and Haru. And that destroying or attacking the amusement park might help the master take control of Miyuki more? Because again... Falcomon noted that the injured and the dead were laid out like breadcrumbs, as if the monsters were on a set path and only attacked those that were in their way. So, no idea what that's about. Lots of craziness is going on. The story is... The story is good. I really like this... this even though it's kind of like taking from... Digimon Adventure. But at the same time, not as much because they were in the, um, the human world a lot longer in Digimon Adventure before deciding to go back. But at the same time, they <laughs> they couldn't really do that with this one because uh, all the humans were in there, although that would be kind of a dark take where if you spent too long in the human world you go back and either all your friends were dead or older versions of themselves. But yeah, still loving this game. Still loving the story, the characters, the music, the aesthetic, the art. It's all very good. But yes, I do believe that that will be that. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where all these streams eventually end up. Right now... You can watch the Mass Effect trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Lands, Undertale, and a few others over there. And of course, me uploading this because this is new, important, and grasps at my soul. And then if you're already one of those people that are watching the archives, you can come watch me... Wa Don't know why I got tongue-tied there. But you can come watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. And then and then, if you want to see art like my little character avatar in the corner, you can catch me posting art of my art in general to twitter tumblr deviantart and newgrounds all of them at neon icy wings except for tumblr which is icy wings art corner but yes but yes thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you dudes next time bye bye